I just found this cool thing for mounting backdrops. If you're using paper backdrops, it's no big deal. You just have it on a bar and pull it down and it just hangs. But if you're using fabric like this, uh, you can just let it hang. If, if you want it to be totally uh, wrinkle free, you need to stretch it like sideways, not, not just this way, but this way, which is why these clamps are here. So, you know, you, you just like stretching a canvas, like an, an, an artist would know what I'm talking about. You're stretching a canvas. You need to stretch a little bit here, a little bit there, and you move your way down, and then there's no wrinkles at all. So for doing something like this, you're gonna need a stand to clamp it to. You need a bar running down the sides, and that's where the problem is. So this is what I did until now, and it kind of frustrated me because using light stands, you have these bases that flare out at the bottom. So I found something better instead of using these light stands. So here you can see I'm using a one inch square aluminum rod, uh, which is what I'm stretching this thing on. So I found this thing online, which is, does not have the flared feet. And that is this. Totally flat on the bottom. And these things can go up 10 feet. Look at that, 10 feet up. Look how high that goes. And then the rod that comes with it expands from this to 10 feet wide. 10 feet by 10 feet. Most of these backdrops have a loop on the top that you just put your bar through. And I like to get exactly a 10 foot size. Now there, there's a clamp on the end here. There's just a little hook that you put this in, into a hole, and then you just go up. So what I like to do is I like to clamp one side so it's clamped on there, and then you stretch it on the other side so it's held there, so it's nice and tight across the top. And then you start raising it, little by little on each side. This is generally how you do it. If you have an assistant, you can do, you know, obviously both equally at the same time, but if you're by yourself, you just inch it up little by little. Okay, so here you can see it's just hanging freely, and you can see there's these vertical fold lines in here that, where you can see that it's uh, you know a folded piece of fabric so what you want to do is stretch those folds out so you start at the top one here and you go over to the other side one here nice and tight so i have a, a straight line running across so there's no fold right here then you do a couple of feet lower equal with that clamp you pull one on this side so you can use clamps like this or you can use something like this. This is by the same company that made the stand. I'll put a link down below. It's a Velcro loop with a little uh, push thing that you can vary the length. It's a clamp on the end of it. They're not as strong as the, the big clamps, but it's kind of cool to use. You put the Velcro loop around the uh, post, and then this thing, you know, you can have this like you can vary the length of how long it is and then you can pull it tight with this thing here so now it's pretty tight there's very few wrinkles and folds in here if there is then I suggest you get a steaming machine like this they aren't expensive they're under a hundred bucks and you just steam it and it, the wrinkles grow away very quickly and then it looks perfect so here we have a stand that goes straight up and down, straight across, and there's no flare at the bottom. That I really like. 10 feet by 10 feet, or you can adjust it however you want. Uh, it's $179 for the stand. It's by E. Favor Mart. I'll put a link down below. So here I am in front of a stretched background. It looks great. I just thought I'd show you another way of mounting a background where you don't have to have the flared legs of a normal light stand. This is totally square from the floor all the way up to 10 feet. So I thought uh, that would be kind of a cool thing to share with you. It's not that expensive. For those of you like backgrounds, consider this. Put the link down below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.